Eve McChrystal, thanks a million for being with us today. We're here, of course, to chat about the Great Dublin Bike Ride. But before we look ahead to that, I suppose we have to talk about the year that's been for you. You won your second gold medal in Tokyo. So, you know, what has it been like looking back now? Have you had a chance to look back over the year at, at your success from Tokyo last year with, with Katie George? Um, Probably not yet, because I'm still, or we're still, you know, trying to hit new goals so this year was all towards the world championships in the summer which has just been finished and then you know it's it, because I suppose we're still on the bike um I probably haven't had time to really digest it all and I think like most athletes when one is done you kind of move on pretty quickly to the next one um but I do I I, I can get a grasp of of what we've done but um I don't really dwell on it too much I think we've yeah we're looking looking forward to the next one now and I have to ask, what was it like being the, the flag bearer at the closing ceremony last year? Oh, that was phenomenal. Yeah, I think I put a photograph up the other day. That was just like amazing. It was such an honour, I suppose, to be there, number one, to represent your country. And then for the two of us to be asked to be flag bearer was just such an honour. And you mentioned the World Championships there and you also brought home gold in that. So it, we really are in a, in a kind of golden era for Cycling Ireland because it's very successful. Absolutely. Yeah, it's been it's just been great. And like I think for the power team, like we've just, I suppose, consistently showed up, I suppose, at, at world championships over the last couple of years. And we added another another world title with Ronan Grimes getting the road uh, world title this year. So that was phenomenal. But across the board with Cycling Ireland, it's just been, yeah, it's been we're moving in the right direction, put it that way. And I think it's, it's going to get better from here. Looking ahead then to, to the Great Dublin Bike Ride, I suppose for you it must be nice to take a little step back from the competitive side of things and just get back to, to basics and, and the, the fun and fitness that is, um, you know, the basis of cycling. Well, that's what it's all about, really. I think the competition is just a small part of what myself and Katie do, I suppose. Um the Great Dublin bike ride will be just, that'll be a phenomenal day. And I'm really looking forward to that because I'll be able to ride my bike, chat to people beside me, you know, like just have fun, look around me, which I don't always get to do. But a lot of my time is just on the bike, having fun. Like if you don't enjoy it, you're not really, you're, you're not going to do it. And you have to kind of stay motivated. But for me, now, I'm really looking forward to, to a day like that to enjoy it. And this is all part of the European Week of Sport. And, and the main message behind that, I suppose, is to, to promote, you know, the, you know, the, the physical benefits of, of uh, sport, but also, you know, the mental benefits and the social benefits as well. And it's a really important message to get across, isn't it? I think everything ties in together. You said it there's physical, mental, social, everything just ties in together. So I think especially for me, if just things aren't going great or I'm having a bad day and I go out on the bike, I just come back a completely different person. Do you know, I'm able to process what I'm going through in my head when I'm on the bike, whether that be cycling, running, whatever it is, whatever you choose to be in the great outdoors or choose to do outside um, definitely has a knock on effect on, on your mental um, state, I suppose. And for me, it's definitely saved me over the last 10 years. And I suppose one of the great things about the Dublin bike ride is that, you know, there's different levels to it. So you have a 60 kilometre and you have a 100 kilometre. So it's all about how much you want to challenge yourself. So it's for everyone, you know, it's, you know, this isn't something that, you know, you need to have lots of experience in. But if you just, you know, if you're a beginner, this this is for you as well. Absolutely. And the 60k is kind of, it's a flat route. Um, so there's not too many hills in it at all. So I would like people sometimes think, oh, my God, it's hilly. I can't go. That's going to be too hard to get up those hills. But the 60K, if you are a beginner or if you just want to go out and do 60 kilometers, um, that, that's brilliant for you. And the 100K is a little bit more challenging with a little bit of hills in it. But still, it's still doable. And you can do it at your own pace. There's no like you don't have to go fast. You don't have to go slow. You can find a group that suits you and I guarantee you, you'll, you'll make friends along the way. The cycling community is a brilliant community for making friends. I, I love that. I love that about it.